Hey you guys, so this video is going to be extremely detailed um, and it is going to be political, but I ask that especially those of you living with disabilities, please watch it regardless of your political affiliation because it is relevant to all of us. So I recently came across an article that of course had the clickbait title of Trump care could mean the institution institutionalization of disabled people because they swear that Medicare, Medicaid, all of that is going away. So, like I said, I'm taking this one pretty seriously and I left notes. So, in my personal experience and opinion, no disabled person belongs in an institution. And I don't think any of us are going there. Well, I mean, obviously, I'm not. And I, I do know people who are, but it isn't necessarily because of the government. It's because there was nobody to take care of them and the part that is the government's job is the family couldn't get home care so I'll get into that later on um, but that is something that I want to highlight in this video this president talks a lot about the forgotten men and women and I like to refer to that still as the disabled because we are making strides many of us <clears throat> excuse me are independent many of us are working towards not even needing what the government is willing to give us myself included I'm far from being able to but I'm working on it and I think that instead of letting the fear get to you I would urge people to look at the opportunities what opportunities, what hobbies do you have that you can empower within yourself to do something about it and make a living off of it? And first of all, one of my friends, one of my new friends, he is extremely disabled. And he does memes, he does um, videos that are broken up and transcribes with just his voice. So I don't want to hear from anybody that you can't do something with your life. This guy, he does it every single day. He is, he's on it. So, you know, if you want to look to me to be inspired, no, look to somebody like him. So one of the biggest things personally for me and from a lot of people living with disabilities that I've spoken to. We just want independence and a quality of life like every American. And because things like our unemployment rate are going down, it's obviously showing that that's getting better. We are further behind because this is all new, but like I said, you know, we had to start where we were and it is, it is going somewhere. One of the things that I find is very common is the hysteria. And it's very hard to fight for the rights of people living with disabilities when so many feel like their rights are going away left and right. And they really aren't. It's just who they're listening to. <coughs> Fake news just being fed to us by people who want us afraid stop falling for it look around you nothing's changed it's only gotten better and the other stuff is just a bunch of hysteria over what could change I'm so tired of feel bad for them they're afraid no find out before you freak out everybody has access to some real news a friend that has done real research 
the internet. Like I said, I have a friend who does everything by his voice, but he finds things. And every, but everybody has the power to do it. The bottom line is this. People living with disabilities, for many reasons, the hysteria, the fact that many are dependent on either the government or people, are the most vulnerable to the fact that, and I have to stress this, you can't blame one guy. Because what can happen is, I mean, this is really for everybody because that's kind of like what an election cycle is. This one is the exception, not the rule. Normally we get a guy who promises things and doesn't follow through. And now we have somebody who, whether you like his promises or not, he's keeping them. But the bottom line is, no matter what we get, no matter what silver platter some president comes and promises people living with disabilities, it can all go away tomorrow. It can all go away in the next bleh. It can all go away in the next election cycle. So what do we do? Well, we empower ourselves. We fight within ourselves to be the best we can. Fight for the rights in our own individual lives that we feel we're not getting. I'm not saying don't call your local social security office and bitch to them about something they're doing wrong, but, you know, it's not always true what you hear about a certain president, and it's not always, your issue is not always paramount. For me, personally, I feel like there's a lot of things going on around the country. I'm okay, and I'm willing to wait, because if, if I don't wait, we won't have a country. And I'm not saying to put people living with disabilities on the back burner, but like I said, we can empower ourselves. There's many of us living with disabilities who have severe disabilities. Like I said, my friend is kind of awesome and he is an inspiration who, who can teach you that no matter your disability you can do things but you know for those of you who feel like you can't there's people like me who I'll speak up for you you know tell me your concerns tell me your worries tell me your experiences and I'll help when I can there are just many concerns and problems that people living with disabilities have that I feel like would be better off being solved by the community, by us, by somebody helping, by somebody creating a program. I would love to create a program where you guys, I mean, even if it's not called anything, right, it'll probably, I know what it'll probably be called, but even if it's not set up yet let's start now right into me tell me your concerns tell me what is going on in your life that you need to have fixed where you keep running into a wall i am all for small government and the people empowering themselves and each other so i just i felt really really strongly about this topic obviously and I hope you guys do too please like I said leave me comments concerns everything in the comment section uh, you can also email me I'll put my email down in, in the description as well um, it's marissa molesky at gmail.com and if you're new to this channel if you like this video please share it please subscribe if you haven't and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.